Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? Oh my god, finally we have the iOS 17 beta 5. Yes, we have a lot to cover in this video. So let's begin and talk about iOS 17 beta 5. What all things are new here and why this is already my favorite update yet. Let's talk about it. My name is Jay. You are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notification because I am one of the first person covering about all these latest iOS and iPadOS, macOS and all update stuff. And I know you guys are into this type of content. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And now that you have hit that subscribe button and turn on notification, let's dive right in today's video. So let's talk about iOS 17 beta 5 number one thing is this update was huge on my device now 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 the number one thing is why it was huge on mine because i was coming from ios 16.6 so remember that that's why it was huge on my device i keep on downgrading and upgrading software that's how my life works because i have to cover it all and talk about it on my channel and share my opinion to you guys anyways getting back to the topic what are my first impressions on the ios 17 beta 5 the number one thing that i love is the animations yes opening apps dynamic island face id animation and every animation on ios just seems a bit more refined and smoother to me i am not aware if you have already installed it or not or if you do notice this change but right off the bat after installing this update i do notice a big change and i do notice that the animations and launching of the apps are noticeably quicker i tried comparing it side by side to iphone 13 pro which was already on ios 17 beta 4 and when i compared the iphone 13 pro to iphone 14 pro on the ios 17 beta 4 compared to ios 17 beta 5 the beta 5 does seem noticeably faster in opening apps and in general the animations feel more smoother the performance seems to be a bit more better on the ios 17 beta 5 now let's jump on and talk about the favorite part that is battery life is battery life any better on the ios 17 beta 5 now to answer it and summarize it up real quick the answer is i am not sure because it is barely any time that i have played with this update i will make sure to post a follow-up video in a day or two to talk about the battery life on ios 17 beta 5 so you can turn on notifications and make sure to watch that video if you are interested in knowing the battery life of ios 17 beta 5 but quick impressions are the battery life seems to be pretty much the same as the beta 4 i do not notice any big changes till now but of course take this information with a grain of salt because the battery drain can be a thing on the beta 5 or the battery can be noticeably better than the beta 4 so you never know let me test it out and I will let you guys know in my next video or on my Twitter at the rate tech hype. You can follow me there if you haven't already. Then talking about the bug fixes, there are bug fixes as always. The first bug fix that I have noticed is contact posters. The contact posters were having a lot of glitches where contact poster just won't appear or it would just change itself or uh, it would have glitches something like wallpaper bug i will come to wallpaper bug as well but contact posters were also having a lot of bugs and the wallpaper bug was also present on the contact posters is it resolved on the beta 5 and the answer is yes till now i haven't seen or the bug hasn't appeared for me on the beta 5 and let's hope fingers crossed the wallpaper bug and the contact poster bug is now fixed let's talk about the wallpaper bug the wallpaper bug has been a bug which is troubling a lot of people including me it is a bug which makes your wallpaper glazed or shows it black or have weird shadows in it it is really weird and frustrating bug which was present as latest as the ios 17 beta 4 re-release and even on ios 17 public beta and ladies and gentlemen i am very happy to say this the beta 5 of ios 17 has seems to be resolved the wallpaper bug oh my god i can't even tell you how happy i am because 
Till now, I have always got the wallpaper bug after playing with this update for around like 30 to 40 minutes. I always get this type of wallpaper bug and all. I used to face this and encounter this within this type of period. So let's hope that the wallpaper bug is not at all a thing on the beta 5. Fingers crossed. Let's spend some more time on this update and we will know is this fixed permanently or not. Then the next thing is related to Apple Watch. Apple Watch was also having bugs. Now, I am not sure this was a bug which with watchOS or with iOS. But the thing was that the notifications were getting delayed on iOS 17 beta 4. Whenever you used to get a notification on your watch, it was getting delayed on your iPhone. I used to get the notification early on my watch whenever my watch was connected. And I used to get the notification like 3 or 4 seconds after I used to get it on my watch. Which was really weird because it is a thing which is really frustrating i used to look at the notification on my watch and whenever i used to go in notification center and this is when i was using my phone so it is not like my phone was on table or anywhere i was using my phone and still i was getting delayed notifications so that bug is now finally resolved on the ios 17 beta 5 now talking about the standby feature oh my god the standby bug was also present on the ios 17 beta 4 Oh my god, I swear, a standby is something which is my favorite feature on iOS 17 and I really really love it because I use it every single day. It has completely replaced my Apple Watch. I used to use my Apple Watch as a night clock and the iPhone on uh, the MagSafe dock is a game changer trust me it is worth getting a max safe and using standby as your night clock it changes everything let's come back to the point so the thing was on ios 17 beta 4 some people including me was having standby issue what it means is until you restart your device the standby would just not get triggered even if your standby feature is on it will just not open and it will just not show up until and unless you restart your device that bug is now finally resolved here. Now let's talk about the favorite part that is new features. Is there any new feature or this is just refinement and bug fixes update? The answer is yes, there are some new features that I have discovered till now. The number one feature is the weather app. The weather app now shows the sunny weather and it is much more brighter and saturated. If you go in the weather app, you will notice that every single weather Weather on the weather app is more saturated and it just looks more refined compared to the beta 4 this is uh, something which is noticeable when you look at side by side compared to the beta 4 if you have a device with the beta 4 installed and then you install the beta 5 the side by side difference is visible but it is not something which is really big difference but yeah the weather is now much better and the weather app is just getting more refined day by day the weather app also supports more weathers now the animations and all of thunderstorm and lighting and snow has been better now on the beta 5 well, that's pretty much it for today's video if you did watch this video till the end and liked watching this video please hit that subscribe button i will come up with my follow-up video really really soon soon and i will tell you guys more features and hidden tricks and tips of ios 17 beta 5 so make sure to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching this video till the end and this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace